This video is for cycle three, week one, ages four to six, and we will be drawing animal tracks, which are simple shapes that correspond to the idea of Lewis and Clark's adventure through the Louisiana Purchase and some of the animals they would have seen on their journey. To begin, we want to start defining some of the words we're going to be using as we describe the shapes that we see. So each student will have one of these papers and it talks about the different um, components of the oils, which is O, I, L, and S, and each one stands for something. So students, this might be a new concept for them, but really essentially it's also for parents so that when this paper goes home, the parents know the different definitions of these concepts. We wanna start teaching about each one of these and what it means. So on the whiteboard, you're going to be doing examples and the students will do them on their paper. The only one I'm going to define today is the circle, which is the O. And a circle is a shape that is round and connects from beginning to end. It's enclosed where a line begins and ends at a different point. So when we talk about circles as far as oils, it can be a circle like this in its normal sense, but also it can be any sort of shape that has a beginning and end in the same place. So this would be in the circle family. And that's important for us to show students today because as we draw shapes, they're not going to be perfect circles like this. They might be oddly shaped things, but as long as they close in a shape, it belongs in our circle family. So you and the students would draw examples of the different oils on that paper. And then the students will get a paper like this. And it has different animals that Lewis and Clark would have seen on their journey through North America. And we'll be practicing our drawing skills by drawing the animal tracks. And part of the fun part is that the students get to guess about which track goes with, with which animal. So they're going to have this at their table with their pencil, one per student, and you will be at the whiteboard. So first you want to tape up the first one, and you can ask the students which animal they think this track goes with. And down at the bottom, very small, I wrote the answer for you, which is deer, and probably the students won't be able to see that from far away. I wanted to have it small so they couldn't decipher which track it is. Now we get to begin to decode the shapes and the sizes and the placement that we see here. So before the students ever begin to draw on their paper, we first want to describe the shapes that we see. So we're going to talk about this being in the circle family because we can see that it's the shape that's completely enclosed. And we wanna talk about what we see as far as size and placement. So when I draw this, I wanna start at a starting point. I'm gonna choose the top. And I would be talking through to the students what I'm drawing as I go. And I can see that the shape goes out to the side a little bit and it's very, very long. So I'm gonna make sure that as I draw, I go out to the side a little bit and I go down because it's very long. Now you can ask the student, well, what happens next? Look at the shape and begin to describe what happens. And it curves to the side. How much? A lot, a little bit. Then they can tell you it goes up, yeah. Now what happens? If they can see it, they might be able to see that it kind of goes in a little bit and it goes back up to the top where it gets skinnier at the top. So we want them to be as careful of observers as they can be and be able to really look closely at all the nuances of that shape. And then what happens over here? The same thing happens, but it's on the opposite side and they have to again tell you what to draw, begin to describe what they see and be able to tell you what to do there. On their paper, they get to then draw it as well. And you get to ask them which animal they think it goes with and it's the deer. So they can then take their pencil and their paper, continually look at what they are studying and drawing. So they should be looking back up here at the board 
to be able to then draw that shape. And then they would study the next one and draw that shape. And if they wanted to practice more, they could do like a set of um, hoof prints right here next to the deer. They can practice as many times as they need to. Of course, this one is the simplest. We started with the most basic track, but it's going to get a little bit more complicated as they go, but it's the same process. The next one I would do would be the jackrabbit. You can see that this is somewhat similar to the deer in that you have these long circle type shapes, but they even have some more interesting things going on there. And then they also have some more shapes down here at the bottom. So I would do the same thing. I would ask the students to first describe the shapes that they see so they get to tell you and define all the different parts of it. And then you would get to walk through and tell them what you're doing. Like, okay, I'm gonna start at the bottom here. And I'm gonna follow it with my eyes. And as my eyes look at it, my pencil will also go up. It goes up pretty tall. Then what does it do? Yep, it goes over a little hump. And then another one, and another one. Oh, and that one even lands lower down than the first one, so I made sure that my line came a little bit lower. And it goes over, and then it gets skinnier and connects to where I started. So you wanna be able to use a lot of words and description to define what you're seeing, and then describe how you're drawing it on the paper. The students would then do the same thing on their worksheet and do it next to the animal that that goes with and you would just simply go down the line. The next most complicated one would be the turkey and then we have the wolf and then the most complicated would be the grizzly bear. If you don't get through all of them that is more than okay. The kids could even go home and um, do a little research and find what these shapes are online at home and draw them themselves. Or if they finish really early, just give them colored pencils and allow them to color in the animals and the tracks on their paper. So depending on the age and ability of your class, you might end at different places. But overall, the main concept is for them to be able to study and describe the shapes that they see.